background, her dad particularly was very famous already at this point, uh, they, uh, um, and so she would dance for about six hours a day, and her dad would make her hold things for over a hundred counts. I wouldn't do His teachers wanted him to go into the Risky Theater, um, but it was customary to, like, kind of take, like, a couple gap years, I guess, like, sort of. And so, he did that, um, and, like, by that time, he was kind of known as, um, like, the Vestris of the North, or, like, the Eighth Wonder of the World. Vestris? Vestris. Vestris. Yeah. <laughs> that was very famous dancer, um, even before Taglioni, very famous dancer, his father name. Gaetano Vestris, but um, Victoria is talking about Auguste Vestris, the person who made Batus famous. Auguste Vestris. Anyways, the significance of these two ballerinas is, is like huge. They just like really left impressions on the dance world. Like Julie Kent like broke through the like, stereotypical American ballerina, like went into like, the movie industry, was in center stage and dancers and like just the epitome of what we all strive to be pretty much and then Sylvie Gillen yeah. yeah sorry she just like showed that you didn't have to stay in one place and you could you know define who you wanted to be as a dancer like you didn't have to be controlled by a contract or a director like you're an artist so make your art so those are pictures. Um, he, like Val said, he knew very much what he wanted and wasn't really willing to compromise and he also wanted to dance every... In 1990, Bush Chicago retired from ABT to create the avant-garde White Oak Dance Project with Mark Morris. Um, he said of his shift toward contemporary dance, or about contemporary dance, it's less mannered, more democratic, more transparent, and from my point of view, closer to the hearts of people. Um, and there he worked with people like Twyla Tharp, Jerome Robbins, and obviously Mark Morris. Um, in 2000, Vrishnikov was recognized for a lifetime of extraordinary achievement at the Kennedy Center Honors Awards. Um, this is a list of a few of his probably more famous pieces that a few of them I've already named. One, uh, the Four Temperaments, Orpheus, Firebird, Stars and Stripes, which we know because of his Catherine. Um, episodes of Midnight Summer's Dream, which is still performed by New York City Ballet to this day. Tarantella, Harley Quinn, Jules, and Capilla. And so the significance of Balanchine is he is basically called the father of American ballet. 